and you go to general and as you scroll you're going to look for this one right here that says accessibility. Click on accessibility, scroll up, and you'll see the one right there that says guided access. If you click on guided access, you have to actually turn it on. Put in a passcode setting, set the guided passcode. We're going to make it 8324 for now. And then time limits. I'm going to say that when the time is up, it will tell the child and play a sound. And I'm also going to turn on the accessibility shortcut so that when I triple click the home button, it will ask me if I want to turn it on. So that's it. Now I'm going to go back to the home screen and we're going to open up the, let's see, we'll do um, Kindle. So if I open the Kindle app, and let it load a second, all I have to do I have a, a book open. And if I triple click the home button, one, two, three, up pops my accessibility options. And you want to choose guided access. And what you can see now is I have some options to just start it. Um, I can do hardware buttons where they can't change the volume or any of those things. I'm also going to say that there's a time limit. They need to be on it for, let's say they have to be on it for a minute. And then I click start. You can also circle areas on the screen you'd like to disable. So if I don't want them to be able to go to links, that means that's going to be grayed out. These links are grayed out and that's grayed out. So if I hit start up here, Basically, they have one minute. I can turn the pages. I can't go to any of those links if I click on them. And as the timer goes through, you'll see we're going to get a minute here. See at the top it says 29 seconds remaining. Again, we're still waiting. And as I go through the screen, I can't push the button to get out of it. Guided access is enabled. Triple click the home button to exit. There are five seconds left. There it is, time expired. A time limit of one minute has been set for guided access. Triple click to enter the guided access passcode. So if I triple click the home button again, I have to put that, oops, I have to put that password in in order for it to turn off. And that's it. Pretty cool app, especially if you have kids who are constantly wanting to play a game, but they keep moving to other areas.